So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, another video and today I'll be discussing another topic that I really want to put out there because I feel like this is such a major deal that has never really been sorted, fixed or, you know, put in the game properly by Konami. And it kind of reiterates what I put out the other day about my top three problems of gameplay. Now this isn't gameplay related, but it will affect the way that the CPU plays. All right, this isn't about online. This isn't about playing against a human opponent because, you know, we can do that ourselves. But the CPU, if they're not set up correctly, they're not going to magically fix it by themselves. So what am I talking about? And this is also a little tip for those people that are new to PEZ. I highly recommend you do this yourself if you want the AI to play better. And I'm talking about at any difficulty level, it doesn't matter. But they'll play more human-like when they have this set up. So if I give you guys an example, I'm using Clashman's tactics, by the way. I always use his. They're so well done. He does a fantastic job of doing what he does. Uh, but if we go to sort of City of B, which isn't set up by him, um, this is what you would normally find, right? This is straight out the box, a formation set up by Konami. As you can see, advanced instructions, there aren't any. They don't really worry too much about them. I mean, I don't even know if Konami go in here, honestly, and change any of these attacking styles, or they just randomly put them on teams. But either way, you can see there's no fluid formation. It's a simple Christmas tree type, uh, type formation, and that's it. So, you know, this player is not going to move. He's not going to come back if you're defending. He's going to stay up top. The fullbacks aren't going to get forward. They're just going to sort of stay there unless they have attacking fullbacks on. It's a problem. It's a problem because it just makes every team play so boring. I mean, if you want to play that way, that's fine. I've got no problems with that. But for me personally, I like more of a challenge. I want the AI to at least be a threat. So let's go to a team that actually has something set up correctly. So if we went even to uh, the Bundesliga, someone like Bayern Munich, very attacking team. We go into their game plan. We have fluid formation. So... They're playing a 4-2-3-1. At kickoff, here it is. When in possession, you can see the difference. Look at that. There's only one center forward. When they're attacking, now suddenly Nabry's pushed forward. Thomas Muller's on the right-hand side. Goretzka's gone into an advanced position. You know, Davis is a little bit left more. Pavard's gone to the right. And then when they lose it, they drop a little bit deeper. Not a whole lot, because that's not Bayern Munich style. But Kimmich drops off slightly... It just should be done for every single team in PES. Honestly, I think this could take Konami a day or two to do. You just sit down and do it. They even have the luxury, of course, of doing this on PC and then just convert it or port it over to console. They must have the tools to be able to do it. I did all this myself in about five minutes because I'm on PC. You can use an importer, an exporter. You can get your edit file and then you put it in the game. And the difference this makes is night and day. I'm telling you, play Juventus, play one of the top teams, even one of the lower teams, with a regular standard non-fluid formation, and then change it and use one of Clashman's tactics or something that works well, and then play them. And I can guarantee you they'll play completely different. Now let's have a look at another team. So if we go back, uh, someone like Borussia Dortmund, as we know they're, uh, you know, got a pretty decent team now there they are of kickoff when in possession bang you can see Witzel look at him he's just gone from a right midfielder to a right winger and then when they're out of position they drop off a little bit deeper even Harlan drops off into more of a second striker role so he can pick up the ball if you didn't have this on it would just be like this the whole game and there's no variety and this is the problem with playing the CPU. And it would make such a tremendous difference. And I honestly think that a lot of people don't even bother using fluid formation. A lot of people don't even know what it is. Maybe, I don't know, if you're new to PES, you have to do it. So how do you do it? It's very simple. You just go to the preset tactics. You go down to fluid formation. You turn it on. And then you can use the right analog stick to sort of flick through them and change them. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, as I said, but it makes the game so much more enjoyable and so much more of a challenge. I mean, if you're playing up against someone like, uh, let's let's more uh, defensive side. So if you go to the Premier League, for instance, and I do have a lot of these teams set up, but someone like, who plays quite defensive? Um, even if we have 
Bournemouth, for in for instance, right? Or no, 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 Burnley. There we go. Let's go to Burnley. Dice. There we go. So we go to his game plan. That's what they're playing at kickoff. When they're in possession, they get forward, and then they drop back to, um, you know, how they work kickoff. Okay, they didn't have too much movement. I thought they might play a little bit more defensive. Let me try and find someone here who really is quite quite a defensive side. I mean, you probably want to go to, like, City A if you want someone like that. But let's try Newcastle. Stevie Brucey. So there they are. 5-2-2-1. Very defensive. Then they change to a 3-2-2-3. And then they drop back again. So you can see the likes, uh, the likes of, you know, St. Maximum. He's a left midfielder. As soon as they get the ball. Bosch. He's now a left winger. Almiron now is a second striker. Such a difference. Such a difference. So I do want to put out a comparison video between the two. Because it will show you the difference. It's just such a big difference. It really is. I can't reiterate it enough. But Konami have to go in here and they have to start fixing these tactics. Because for me, it's the number one thing, tactically, that will make everything play that much better. No one wants to play the same team every single time. The same redundant formation. The players don't move. They just stand there. They just defend. No, 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 no. We want a challenge. I want a challenge. You guys want a challenge? then do this, all right? But I just wanted to put out a quick video today discussing me personally what would be my number one thing that Konami have to do to make the AI play better. They can go in there and they can adjust the coding, of course, and improve the gameplay. But if they don't tactically set up these teams, we're still going to get this every single week, every single year. No fun. No fun. Anyway, that is a short video. As I said, just wanted to put that out there. Let me know your thoughts below. Do you play with fluid formation and if you don't why don't you why don't you give it a shot download clashman's tactics i'll leave the link for his stuff in the description if you do want to check them out but you know any kind of team who has this set up they will just play i mean look at liverpool all over the shop and when you do this as well you go from a 4-3-3 at kickoff to a 4-2-1-3 here but look at Firmino that's what he does he drops off into the hole Salah's more advanced Chamberlain's more advanced or Mane whoever's playing there and then when they're out of possession bang they go back to the way they were playing you'll see it you'll notice these differences when you're playing the game and be like oh wow Firmino's playing like himself like he normally does you know of course you could stick on the likes of um, false nine and that'll make him drop off but you could also just tactically tell him to play a little bit deeper than the other two. And it works exactly the same. Exactly the same. Even Gomez and Van Dyke. Van Dyke's a little bit more advanced. Gomez drops off a little bit when they're in possession. And then when they are defending, of course, they're right next to each other as centre-backs and full-backs are. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's just my little rant today about what I think or has to be done. Konami, please listen. Please do this. It's such a little thing, but it makes a dramatic difference to your Master League offline against the CPU experience. Let me know your thoughts below. We'll return with the Copa Italia in the next episode against Cagliari, so we'll see how that one goes. But until next time, ladies and gents, subscribe for more, and take care.